Once you've opened your file, you have a geo data frame. It's like a normal pandas data frame, but with geometry attached to it. That's why it has geo in it. For example, with a normal pandas data frame, we can use dot head to look at the first few rows. With this geo data frame that we have here, we can do the same thing, states dot head. And there we go, our first five rows, just like we were using normal pandas. You, if you look at this, you can see this column called geometry in here. This is the geographic part of the geo data frame. If you look at each one of the contents of these cells, you see it's yelling polygon, 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 polygon. This just means a shape. Polygons can be the shapes of countries or islands or states or anything else. Two other types of geometric data that you'll come across are points and lines. So cities, restaurants, and power plants will probably be points, and roads and rivers, things like that, are usually lines. In this case, each state is one or more polygons, all of which hang out in the geometry column. The fun thing to do with this geometry column isn't just to look at these numbers, though. Uh, the fun thing is to map it. So that's probably what we're here for, right? We can do this by saying, hey, geodata frame, why don't you plot yourself? So states.plot. We run it. Geopandas takes a little bit of time to plot, but we can live with it. So here we go. This is a map of the continental United States, so the 40 states that are all stuck together. Pretty beautiful, right? We'll learn to customize this map later, but whenever you open up a new file or create a new geo data frame, it's always good to do a head and do a plot just to make sure the data is what you think the data is and the map is what you think the map will be. And just in case you're curious, uh, this column right here, this geometry column, isn't what makes a geo data frame special. So you can't just say, oh, I have a normal pandas data frame, I'm going to add a geometry column to it, and now I have a geo data frame. That is not how it works. A geo data frame is something that is specific to geo pandas. You can turn a data frame into a geo data frame, but you need to use geo pandas to do that. You can't just have a geometry column in a pandas data frame and expect it to turn into a map. Geo data frames also support everything else that you can do uh, with a pandas data frame. So for example, if we wanted to look for populous states, we could say states states dot population up here population is greater than i don't know 20 1 2 3 1 2 3 so greater than 20 million population we run that looks like we only have two let's make that a little lower bar to cross 10 million how about that okay so we've successfully filtered this data frame to see a subset of our data just like we would do in pandas. And then, just like we did dot plot before on the full data frame, we can also do dot plot on the filtered data frame. Give it a minute to churn through it, and there we go. It's not the most useful math that we've ever seen, um, but it's an easy way to plot certain points of your data instead of looking at all of it. It's kind of like magic. So that covers some of the very, very basics of geo data frames. There's a lot more you can do with geo data frames that's specific to geo data frames that you can't do with a normal pandas data frame, uh, but we'll cover all that later. That'll be okay. So now all you need to know is once you've read in your file, you can do a dot head, you can do a filter, all of those normal pandas things. But on top of that, a geo data frame has this additional geometry column and you can do dot plot to make a pretty little map.